Such a beautiful day today. The birds in the air, the wind in the flowers, and hey, there's Dora over there. Ah! Hola. Oh, uh, hey, Dora. Como estas? Oh, uh, uh, sorry, I, I don't speak Spanish. Wait, why are you getting so close to me? Help! Buenos dias, por favor, cross the sopranos, no Jeff. Where's K-Shot? <laughs> El Tigre Tacos, mucho gusto, si es hoy bien. I'm spinning, I'm so scared, please. Now, as you guys know, I love me some video games. I mean, most of my videos are about video games, but I won't stand for it anymore. You know, I have a Carl to protect here, and I can't have him going around playing those disgusting, violent video games like Mario Tennis, Just Dance, and don't even get me started on Jeopardy for the DS. Now, whoever made that game is a sick, twisted man. No, these games would destroy a kid's brain in seconds. We gotta look at the games that actually matter, that actually benefit the future of mankind with the only kinds of games that children and Carl should be playing educational games now that's what I call an education I mean it's amazing I could just sit back grab a drink watch some Rambo and come back in a couple hours or days to see if my kid is a freaking genius yet now let's look for a game okay one second no not that one no, not that one mm. Aha! I found one! Called Dora the Explorer, Barnyard Buddies for the PS1. Tengo Undano Cerebro Severo! Jesus, that's one ugly kid! I mean, hi, Dora! Flux and I are going to the farm to see all our animal friends. But where is Boots? Well, that's freaking easy. He's literally standing right next to you. You freaking idiot. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, God! How'd you get in my house? Wait a second. Holy crap, Dora. Did you just get your head smashed into the door in the past five seconds we just saw you? I mean, Christ, you're starting to look like Flat Stanley. So in this game, I guess you just walk. That's it. I mean, I know it's a game for children, but come on. They're not brain-dead monkeys. Okay, I mean, they're not all brain-dead monkeys. Give them some platforms or enemies to jump on. Well, you could just let them play Mario. You shut up. Education. Look, I I'm freaking serious. You just walk and collect stars. And every once in a while, Boots will do a little cartwheel to show off his street cred. The world is mine. Friend. Get back. Don't mess with my stack. The gauge is wet. You know what, Boots? Uh, I don't know what it is, but I feel like we're being watched. I feel like someone's lurking behind us at all times. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. It's nothing. <laughs> Now, what is this bullcrap? I got this game so my kid would be educated. You know, learn some freaking Spanish like that one show. Yeah, that one. And what do I get? Freaking walk your pet monkey simulator. It's almost as if this game was made for parents who just sit their kids in front of the TV so that they can get some peace and quiet and or go party for a couple hours. But that's not me, no siree. I would never do that. Hey, Keisha, the batteries on my phone that you got me when I was six months old that you gave me so I would shut up and just watch YouTube kids die. And eh, just take mine, you little rodent. Now, if you excuse me, I got some partying to do. You're fine staying home by yourself. You're like six or my age. I don't know. Your age keeps on changing for some reason. Who cares? You're not a baby. See ya. Ah, my head. What were we doing again? Another Shrek games episode? Oh yeah, I remember. We gotta get you smart. Okay, let's find another game. And not one of those garbage TV show companies. Oh wait, I know just the game. Now I know everyone's favorite educational game is Mario is Missing. It's truly a masterpiece, I know. But I see there's a new challenger to compete against Mario is Missing. A game that at the time, gamers far and wide shunned just because it didn't star Dennis Hopper in it. Monkey! A game from the rifle company themselves, Sega's Sonic Schoolhouse. Feast your eyes, cuz this is real. Now let's strap in and get ready to catch those rings of knowledge, um, learn, uh, uh j just forget it. It's Sonic, okay? Let's play. I'm Sonic. Click on me. No! No! You are not Sonic! What is this? This cannot be real. Why would Sega let this happen? I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. You're going to play in my schoolhouse. The traffic light lets you move through my schoolhouse. Did you maggots get that? All right, this is Sonic schoolhouse. You move when he says you move. You mess up, he mess you up, you got it? There's a little box where you can choose your own name. You're not sure how to do it. Ask a grown-up. That's what they're for. That is what grown-ups are for. That's their only purpose, to help you pick a name in Sonic Schoolhouse. It's all in the parent handbook. I know what I'm talking about, guys. Well, since I'm a grown-up, I'll pick my own darn name. All right. <laughs> click on the gumball machine to tell you how you're doing in the game. Okay, let me just click that. 
Oh, oh, okay, okay. Thanks for letting me know. Click on the books to change your grade. Don't you wish it were that easy in school? Ah, this guy's so relatable. <laughs> Anytime you've got any more questions, I'm always here. Please never speak to me again. I am scared. Okay, I guess we have to pick a character now. Oh, so the gang's all here. Such classic Sonic characters. You can tell they're Sonic characters because they have true horror in their eyes. You will never be the same after being in the Sonic universe. I'll just pick the bunny. Wow, this game has a weird, eerie resemblance to Wolfenstein 3D. Didn't think I would actually compare these two games together in my lifetime, but here we are. So in this game, you learn reading, spelling, and math by going through these doors. Okay, let's go to math first. So this is just basic numbers. Nothing that hard. I mean, it's just fill in the blank. Six, seven, um, uh, seven, uh, uh, arf, mm, arf. I'm not a scientist. It's eight. I'm a genius. Oh crap, I didn't know I would draw my creepy freaking face on the chalkboard too. It kind of reminds me of something I saw on CSI once. Or maybe the news, uh, I, I don't know. So, you find anything new about this guy? Nah, nothing new. All we know is that he's a white rabbit wearing a white and orange polka dot shirt. And after he's done shredding these wicked hard math questions and doing six skateboard tricks like Ollie's, he shreds his victims like shredded pork. Which, coincidentally, his last victim was a pig, so... Probably poor choice of words. What does this game have to do with Sonic? Why did Sega make this? What prompted their simple brains to be like, You know what? You see that game with the bunny and deformed monkey? Sanic. Put Sanic on that. Sanic all over the screens. That's what I want. That's the man I want to be. Our next game is called Bronchi the Bronchi. Oh my god. No! Why would they name it that? No! Does that alligator have an inhaler? Clear the air about asthma care? So this is an actual SNES game that attempts to inform children about asthma of all things. Yeah, I'm pretty sure kids with asthma already know what asthma is. I personally do not have asthma, but I know a lot of people who have it, and I feel for them. It must suck. I'm not making fun of kids with asthma if that's not blatantly obvious. I'm just making fun of these people because I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to make a platformer about kids with asthma. What? What I love about this game is that before it even starts, it says, Remember, this game does not tell you how you should take care of your own asthma. Your doctor can give you an asthma plan that's best for you. So basically, this game is pointless. So if you want to know about asthma and how to deal with it, just talk to your doctor. Don't just play video games all day. Oh, Bronchi. It, it's just called Bronchi. It's, it's not called Bronchi the Bronchiosaurus. Nah, because that's kind of unsensitive. Let's just call it Bronchi in the game. They won't notice it on the cover. So basically, in this game, when the meteor crashed into Earth millions of years ago, it didn't kill all the dinosaurs. No, no, no. It just filled the air with dust and gave all the dinosaurs asthma. Freaking asthma! Oh yeah, no, no, that's fine. That's totally cool. I give them asthma, you know? Bring in the Macho Man, Randy Savage! Oh yeah! So the mighty wind machine was made to clear the air so everyone could breathe. Then Mr. Rexo stole the machine, hit its pieces all over the sand Why? That thing literally saved your life. If you want to be mad, be mad at the freaking meteor. Stupid rock, can you watch where you're going? Now the dust is coming back. Help, Rocky and Trekkie find the lost pieces quickly. Freaking hurry, I'm serious, we're all gonna die. Let me just clean this up really quick. All right, okay, no need for extinction anymore. There we go. So I guess we have to avoid these asthma triggers. Dust and cigarette smoke. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone's supposed to avoid that stuff. You don't see kids scarfing down dirt and breathing packs and packs of cigs. Okay, so I guess we're in the city. And is that someone's lung on the side of the building? Now that's what I call taking my breath away. No refunds. And for a dinosaur with asthma, you can jump pretty freaking high and blow so powerful that the big bad wolf is probably jealous. But not because you can breathe more than him, mostly because I stole his girlfriend a couple weeks ago when he still hasn't gotten over it. It's quite sad, actually. Oh, you can also shank your enemies with what I assume is a cane, but I don't really know what it is. Neither do I want to know what it is if I'm wrong. So there's not that much to talk about this game. It's kind of just a pointless platformer. And sometimes it tries to teach you something by randomly asking you 
questions about asthma, but it's also kind of dark. And by dark, I mean figuratively and literally, because when you go into the dust, the screen starts to turn dark. And the more dust you run into, the darker it gets. It's almost as if you're actually dying. This game just turned from a silly platformer to a horrifying horror game. But little did this game know I, I could just turn up the brightness. <laughs> Stupid game, I'm immortal. So in this video, we looked at a lot of different types of education. Pointlessly walking with your pet monkey, learning math, how to read, spelling, and the dangers of asthma, of all things. So, what did we learn today? I mean, this video was literally talking about educational games. I mean, we must have learned something. Wait a second, go back. Pointlessly walking with your pet monkey. Pointlessly walking. Pointlessly walking. Pointless. Buying this game where all you do is walk forward was pointless. The reason for this game to have Sonic attached to his name was pointless. This entire game is pointless. Oh my god. I got it. I got the whole message behind this video. It's... It's... There is no message. This video was pointless. Well then, this video was pretty edutaining, if I do say so myself. We had some laughs, we learned absolutely nothing. No, but seriously, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a blast to make, and I do have to apologize for the super long wait between videos. I think it's been almost a month since I uploaded last, so I'm sorry about that. It was mostly because I went to VidCon, and yes, I was at VidCon. It was actually my first time going, and I had so much fun. It was the most fun I had in a long time. So if you guys haven't gone before, I totally recommend it. But when I came back from VidCon, since there was a long wait, I didn't think the video that I was working on was good enough. So I put it in the vault and started working on this one. But that video might come out next, so you guys don't have to wait that long for another video. But yeah, with that all said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.